and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means, it's time for weekly purchases, that time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL, Amazon, UPS, United States Postal Service, FedEx, and of course, that old outlaw, that old outlaw to the north, Oh, Waylon Jennings, it is weekly purchases and we're going to dive into a lot of weekly purchases, a lot of big purchases this week in the back half, but of course we always kick off weekly purchases with a little bit of housekeeping, of course, and we'll start it off with Patreon. Patreon, of course, month of January, gave away the CM Punk in the month of December. January, we turn our attention to old gargoyles. Oh, we're going full goyle today. Like a young Bee Gees, we got the Knights on Broadway right here today. We're giving away Broadway as the January Patreon giveaway. A lot of stuff going on on Patreon every single day. A lot of videos. And in times like these where we're so backed up in videos, they're all early on Patreon. So if you want to see some stuff like uh, Elite 107, we've had done for quite some time. Not all on the regular channel yet. They will eventually get there, but they go up on Patreon all about the same exact time. So a lot of stuff on Patreon, a lot of early stuff. A lot of cool stuff, and best of all, you do support the channel. But Broadway is going to be the January Patreon giveaway, so check out the Patreon. They even have a way to sign up to be a free member of the Patreon now, so check that out as well. Link in the description down below. A little more housekeeping here, but talking Jack's Class Superstars book right around the corner. Got the beautiful cover to the book right there. So you guys will see the cover right here in this video. So debuting the cover this weekend here on the channel, but that will be up for sale. Much more on that as we get closer to sale date. Should be very, very soon. So stay tuned to that. Subscribe to the channel. All that kind of fun stuff. And I'm living in a winter wonderland these last week or so. Uh, I think about two feet of snow has hit my area. So been a little bit of roughness there on that. Uh, obviously hard to get around, not fun to get around in all that snow. And it's not fun having to shovel all that snow either. Uh, but it is what it is. That's the Midwest for you. So for those of you that are dealing with the snow, man, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain out there. So a lot of snow going on. And next week, I am traveling up to Dubuque, Iowa. Oh my gosh, beautiful this time of year, I'm sure. I'll also be up in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oshkosh, bagosh. Oh my gosh. Hornswoggle country, as it's known in some circles, of course. But I will be on the road next week. So we'll see what we find on the road on some of the stops out there. Hopefully no winter driving. We'll see what happens. But I'll be on the road next week and I'll be gone the next week. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit more in weekly purchases uh, next week. So stay tuned for that one right there. But let's recap the week that was on the channel. It was a big week on the channel as we did conclude the best of videos. Best of season officially done. We did do the top 19 figures. Yes, 19, not 20. I went through of all the top five, top 10 lists, took the winners from every single one of those lists, put them into one big event, and we counted down the top 19 figures of 2023 as voted by me. Next year, I'm going to look to do 20. 19 just feels weird, but uh, it is 19. That's how many videos we did as we closed out the year best of list. We'll do 20 probably with something else next year. Stay tuned to that. But a fun video, a long video, but the top 19 figures. Check that one out if you did miss that. We also did a lot of other best of stuff. Top 10 WWE Ultimates this week. Top 10 G.I. Joe Classified. Possibly the hardest list to put together. Top 5 best toy lines of the year. And so many more of those. We also unboxed Tunnel Rat Walmart Night Force exclusive. We did that one on the channel this week. Legend Series 21, just starting that one. Logan Paul, WWE Mattel Elite Top Picks, we unboxed that. Hulkamania 3-Pack, the Target exclusive, we unboxed that on the channel this week. Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior, the Target exclusive, we unboxed that one this week. Elite 107, working our way through that new Elite Wave. A lot of wrestling figures this week have hit. Uh, Jack's Classic Superstars talked about the book every single Tuesday on the channel for, well, uh, five years, I think it'll be over when it's all done. I think it's the first week of Jan January 2020. Is when the final Jack's Classic Superstars video will go up on the channel. So, man, that's a long ways away. But you know what Jerry Reed always says? We've got a long way to go and a short time. And as usual, Jerry Reed always writes. So, a lot of Jack's Classic Superstars content, of course, on the channel and with the book coming very, very soon. 
Also unbox a brand new cartoon collection from the Masters of the Universe in Tila and Trapjaw. Uh, Void build a figure wave from Marvel Legends. One kind of flying under the radar there. We're slowly working our way through that one. So check out Vision, Justice, some of those unboxings. We did do a very cool one this week. NECA Universal Monsters. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover videos with the Raphael Wolfman. Uh, my dad might have retired from the channel, but it doesn't mean he's not a phone call away. So I did a special dial. My dad called him for his uh, opinion right in the middle of that video so check out that one if you did miss that along the way of course Kyle Peterson 2.0 we have two YouTube channels once again people are asking me hey why two YouTube channels uh, well, we've talked about it before, but I guess I'll talk about it again. We got three videos every single day on the main channel. I figured putting some overflow videos, some extra videos over on that would help because there's so much content coming out. I don't want to put a ton of videos. I should probably narrow it back from three because you won't believe this, or maybe you will, but I get messages every single day. Hey, Kyle, when are you going to unbox uh, Roman Reigns Ultimate, which we did on the channel this week as well. Uh, when are you going to unbox that? Well, I unboxed it three days ago. You either didn't subscribe, didn't have notifications on, or things moved too fast. You fell out and didn't look. So you got to scroll through because a lot of people miss a video. And that's kind of the good and the bad of having so many videos out there. It's very easy to miss something. So... Maybe we dial it back to one video a day. I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, but definitely check out both YouTube channels. Subscribe to both YouTube channels so you don't miss out. And a lot of fun content. A lot of fun content coming still in 2024. More on that in the weeks and months to come on some extra special stuff. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but we did do uh, Rick Riddle and Kushida. We unboxed a little WWE Basic over on Kyle Peterson 2.0. We also did the Logan Paul Roman Reigns 2-pack over there on 2.0. Check that one out. Turtle Tuesday, every single Tuesday, a turtle video. We did a Super 7 Ultimates Casey Jones this week. Uh, we might do a Gargoyle Thursday or something like that. We might do a Mythic Legion Monday. We'll figure it out over on that second channel. But I got a lot of figures to unbox and not a lot of places to put it, I guess. Uh, hard problems. Hard problems to have, let me tell you. Uh, but more videos coming soon. Ice Giant from The Witcher. We unboxed that. $5.99. I took a big chance on that one. For $5.99, you couldn't go wrong with that figure for sure. Menace Fortnite, we unboxed that. A lot of people using that head for Falcon. I want to see what all the fuss was about. See if we can improve our G.I. Joe classified Falcon figure. Check out that on 2.0. And then a toy hunt on both channel this week. Uh, next week, probably not going to have a toy hunt on 2.0 because snowed. I've been snowed in for two days. Took away some figure hunting, so probably not. I'll just have a regular video up on 2.0 uh, come this coming Monday. Get back to regularly scheduled content the next week or so after that. So a lot of content this week. You guys know how it is. Hardest working man in YouTube. Like a young James Brown at the end of the day. That's what we're doing over here. So that is the housekeeping. Now we got to get down to it. Let's get down to the question of the week. All right, let's get down to the question of the week. And if you want to be the question of the week for next week's weekly purchases, throw your question down in the comments down below of this very video. And you too may be question of the week. But the question of the week comes this week. Longtime viewer of the channel, good friend of the channel, Jonathan Hodap8735. My question is, do you ever think your collection will be complete? And if so, what would complete it? Like a specific figure, constantly upgrading like pinless things like that. Uh, no, I guess nothing is ever really complete. The only time for me it is complete is like Jack's Classic Superstars. Once again, cheap plug for the book. Uh, Jack's Classic Superstars. It's done. The line ended. It is complete. Obviously, there's some figures, some one of five Ric Flairs, one of three Ultimate Warriors that I'll probably never have in my collection. Uh, one of 25 or one of 20 Ric Flairs, easy for me to say, uh, that I'll never have in my collection. It is what it is. Uh, but those are complete. So I'm like, yep, dust that off. I am complete. WWE Elite line. It's still going going on so hey i'm complete as of now till the next series comes uh but there is some charm there is some fun about a line ending it's always sad when a toy line you like ends but there's always uh, a little sense of i don't know if relief's the right wor word but there's a nice feeling of like you know it's a great bookend here's where it started here's where it ended i was there for the whole run i had everything for that it just feels really fun but as far as a collection being complete I guess it's not complete until you decide it's time to quit, it's time to retire, it's time to hang up the boots. I mean, I always bring up my dad on the channel. My dad was a hardcore collector back in the day, big into the starting lineups. Well, eventually he said, you know, no moss. Well, starting lineups went away, so that helped that. But he never stopped collecting. He didn't buy in the amounts he always used to. But he still dabbles. He picks up a thing time or two here and there. That's probably well, or I'll be till I die, I'm sure. But there will come a time, I don't know when, it could be 10, 15, 20 years from now. It's like, hey, 
Time to settle down, time to get rid of all this stuff, time to clean it all out, and I'll keep a few pieces for myself as I move into like a townhouse or something in my retirement years, whatever it may be. Hopefully a nursing home. Hopefully they took good care of me out there. I get a three steady meals a day. It'd be like prison is what it'd be like there. But we'll see. I'll figure something out eventually. But I don't think you're ever complete. The only way you're complete is a line if it is end and you're done collecting that line then you're complete. However, you know, it could be somebody like, hey, I uh, only collect uh, No Way Jose figures. I love No Way Jose. I got his one NXT Elite. Man, I'm complete. My collection is done. So there's always that. But for me, probably never going to be complete on anything. It'll just be when do you stop collecting? And that's going to be the reason you're complete is because you stopped collecting. So there it is. That is the question of the week this week. Get your question together. Put it in the comments below. And you too may be the question of the week in next week's weekly purchases. And now we got to turn our attention to the weekly purchases. All right, round one of weekly purchases, and we're starting off hot. We're starting off with big stuff already on the table. Look at this. The brand new turtle sewer layer from NECA through the door. I did order this one, a very controversial piece, as we do know. A lot of people, myself included, not a big fan of the price point. However, for me, I'm already complete on my NECA stuff. I got the sewer layer because I have the street scenes that go with this. You're not going to be able to buy from another company, a ramen toys, whatever it may be. As good as those are, and definitely I enjoy the price point more, uh, I want it to look uniform. I want it to look complete. It's a my choice, I guess, there, just like it would be your choice as well. So I did pull the trigger on this bad boy. I'm going to dig into it. We'll get to it unboxed on the channel eventually. But, boy, it is a big package. I love the handle. I feel like I got a suitcase going on right here. But a big, big thing, a lot bigger than I anticipated it to be for sure. I'm going to have to figure out exactly how I'm going to display this, where I'm going to put this in my collection. Stay tuned for that on the channel. i got to find some time to beast, uh, take on this beast, that's for sure. But i got two more big things through the door this week. Then we'll get to uh, some other stuff here. But I did get some Mondo toys again. I got Gambit last week. I got the was the San Diego Comic-Con Omega Red this week. So very cool. New little packaging design with a little uh, flings coming out here. So I think that is pretty cool. So I got Omega Red Mondo through the door this week. And then the biggest heavy hitter, the one I've been really waiting for, is the three-in-one Skeletor figure from Mondo. Got that through the door this week. Long anticipated this one. Hung up in uh, customs or something. It was stuck in China forever. Finally got mine through the door this week. So two Mondo things and the big sewer layer. Oh my gosh, an expensive, expensive week uh, just with these three alone. But we're not done. we got to turn our attention to round number two. Like a young man of war, we carry on into round number two of weekly purchases, and I think I can get it all in this round here. A lot smaller stuff than round one, but let's kick off round number two. How about a little WWE Mattel Legend Series 21? I did unbox all the rest of them early. I did accidentally order two of these ones, so I do have an extra Hulk Hogan. I'll see what I'll do with this. Maybe just take it back. Uh, but I did get the whole wave here this week through the door. So Hulkster looking pretty good right there. How about? But we're not done with wrestling. Shop AEW over the holidays had that super cheap sale. I forget what this hook ended up being. It was at like 20 bucks or something like that. It was like fairly cheap. I'm looking if there's a little sticker on the back but i'm gonna actually probably open this one up is probably what i'll do i already have a mint on card one i needed an extra defender case so that worked out well as well uh but got hooked through the door waiting on eddie kingston apparently he should be shipping very soon AEW uh, shop AEW is a little backed up from that big sale but to get that for about regular price pretty good deal pretty good piece of business as one may say uh for ringside collectibles i did get this one i did get old asuka nobody's ready for this asuka ultimate that's what i've been told but uh we'll see how all the fuss is about for this one probably get this unboxed on the channel this week can't wait to dive in see what all the fuss is about at the end of the day but asuka through the door looking pretty good there and of course went to target this week as i usually do Picked up the Fiend Toonie Terrors. I dabble in some Toonie Terrors, so I had to pick up the old Fiend this week. So looking pretty good there. And it's not easy being cheesy, that is for sure. And I did get the Chester Cheetah. I like these uh, CPG mascots for sure. Uh, we got Chester Cheetah through the door this week. So I'll put him with uh, uh, the Frightful uh, Serial Gang, I guess, is where he'll go with. But I gotta get that through the door. Also got the final piece of the new wave of Thundercat puzzle finally through the door. I got Snarf. Oh, Snarf, the Orko Gwildor Copper Kid of the Thundercats world in a lot of ways. You never go full Copper Kid. And from the planet of the mimes, the Copper Kid. <laughs> What is that all about? What is that all about? Who knows? And we mentioned this one earlier, unboxed it already on the channel. 
Raphael is the wolf man. My dad helped me out via phone a friend uh, with this one a little bit. So we got that one through the door looking pretty good. And then we got a little Turtles of Grey Skull, the last one I was missing from Wave 1. Uh, we did get Leonardo here, here. So an interesting line. I'm still on the fence on this line. I'm not sure what I think about it. It's very strange to me. But I did get that. And then, of course, I did go to Target, like I said. I did find Mouser Trap Jaw here. So that should be an interesting one to unbox as well along the way. And we're not done. We unboxed this already on the channel this week. Got this uh, right away. Had to unbox this bad boy. Tunnel Rat Night Force Edition, Walmart, uh, trudging his way through the sewers of Walmart to get on the shelves is Tunnel Rat Night Force Edition. And then I went to Ross. I said, I better check this Ross store out. I did get an Outback for $5.99. I might make a little custom with this Outback, so stay tuned to that, I guess, uh, on the channel here. But I like the looks of that Outback figure. For $5.99, couldn't pass that one up. Couldn't pass it up. And the clearance continues. I did go to Target, $9.99 on clearance. I've never seen one of these Aquaman movies, but old Jason Momoa, good friend of the channel, not really, but he lived uh, about, I don't know, 10 miles away from me is where he grew up. So a local boy, some may say. Uh, but I really like the look of this octopus in here. So I kind of bought it for the octopus. And I guess the figure is the accessory to me for this one. Who knows? But $9.99 at Target, got to get a deal. And it wasn't done at Target. Got the two new gold label Target figures. We got the Red Tornado. Oh my gosh, like a young Megadeth. Uh, he's in the eye of the tornado. And then I got Animal Man. So we'll unbox both of these guys probably together. They kind of fit together, both Target exclusives. Animal Man, Red Tornado through the door. And then shout out to the band Haunt. Shout out to good buddy Trevor over there. I did get a copy of the Electric Church. Bill, the Electric Church. Do you know Bill Church? Oh my gosh, autograph here written by Martin Popoff. Uh, you got to get into the Bill Church here because Bill was the basis for one Ronnie Montrose back in the Montrose days and then, of course, continued his career with Sammy Hagar back in the day. And, of course, his son Trevor, a proud member, leader of the band Haunt. We're here for that all day. And Bill, the Electric Church, even autographed this one. So very, very cool. If you know your hard rock, your heavy metal, some of the forefathers of hard rock and heavy metal, a book to check out. So get up uh, on the Electric Church for sure. So shout out to Trevor. Shout out to his dad, Bill. There you go. Then through the door this week, the Ringside Collection, Big Papa Pump. Oh my gosh, holler if you can hear me. There he is, old Scott Steiner right there. We got Dan Housen, never met an action figure he didn't like. Got Dan Housen through the door. And then the one I'm most excited for from the set here is, of course, the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom, the Hawk, the Animal. Good to have them there. And then, of course, Steiner Brothers. Got the Steiner Brothers here, of course. Now, Steiner Brothers, what's going on with Mattel? Hopefully we get some clarity to that in the next couple of months. We'll see what happens there. Uh, we also got the Steiner Brothers regular and Chase edition through the door this week. The Bell to Bell line, ringside collectible exclusive toy line. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And then I got a double whammy here of Nick Gage, Matt Cardona. Got the bloody variant edition right here. And then through the door as well this week. Got the regular version here. So very interesting. Ringside throwing their hat into their own toy line, which I think is pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, I'm here for that all day long. It's going to be interesting to unbox these. Of course, we'll do some comparisons to the Superstars line, things like that. Uh, should be fun to unbox these. I'll try to start these this week on the channel as well. But like I said, Patreon has a lot of videos. We're pretty well backed up on videos on Patreon. So there's some things that are kind of lost in the shuffle. I've got some AEW Chase Rare Edition unboxings that on Patreon for a while. There's a few things that will get out eventually. But if you want early access to any of this stuff and a lot of other stuff, head on over to the Patreon, as I always do say. Final piece. I'm looking around. I think i got one thing left this week. I did get some... Uh, figure stands here and i did go to target to get this and just nice uh spice rack stands here nice and clear they do spread out i'm going to use these for a special project i'm working on so i bought a couple of these target's got some of that kind of stuff going on so if you're looking for risers check your spice aisle at target so there it is. That is the weekly purchases. Another big week here this week. A big fun week. Got a lot of week to uh, a lot of work to do this week as I get ready to leave to go out of town. So I got to get a bunch of videos filmed. Got to get ahead on some things. Got some travel at the end of the month as well. So I got to really put the pen to paper, put the uh, pedal to the metal. I got to get going on some of this stuff. So that's what we'll do. So look for a lot of stuff, of course, on Patreon first and then on the YouTube channels the next couple of weeks, just like normal, as I guess you would guess. No days off. No rest for the wicked like a young Ozzy 
Ozzy Osbourne. But what did you pick up this week? Anything good? Did you find anything out in the stores? Let me know what you picked up this week in the comments down below. Don't forget to put the question of the week down there as well. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. And don't forget to subscribe to both YouTube channels while you're at it. And of course, don't forget the Patreon, as I did say. Best place to support the channel and to get early access to stuff. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for weekly purchases, you know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling to my snowblower.